Hello, welcome to final part of this series, part 4, moving to our 76th question. Commonest risk factor for fracture of neck or femur is Option A, osteoporosis Option B, osteomalacia Option C, bone tumor Option D, osteomyelitis And the answer is Option A, osteoporosis Moving to our 77th question most commonly disc cervical vertebral disc is Option A between C1, C2 Option B between C3, C4 Option C between C5, C6 Option D between C6, C7 And the answer is Option C between C5, C6 Moving to our 78th question What is angulosis? Option A restriction of the motion in a joint Option B degenerative changes of the vertebra Option C dislocation of the vertebra Option D loss of normal vertebral curvature And the answer is Option A restriction of the motion in a joint Moving to our 79th question Thomas test of hip joint is done to check for Option A. Sacralitis Option B. Iliosoyas tendonitis Option C. Adductor contracture Option D. Flexion contracture And the answer is Option D. Flexion contracture Moving to our 80th question Tendonbelk's test of hip joint is done to check for Option A. Abductor weakness Option B. Iliosoyas tendonitis Option C. Adductor contracture Option D. Flexion contracture And the answer is Option A. Abductor weakness Moving to our 81st question Thompson test of angle joint is used to check for Option A. Tibialis anterior injury Option B. Eyelace tendon injury Option C. Tibialis posterior injury Option D. Lateral collateral ligament injury And the answer is Option B. Eyelace tendon injury Moving to our 82nd question The best initial treatment for club foot deformity in a newborn boy is Option A. Serial manipulation and casting Option B. Posterior medial soft tissue release Option C. Tendon lengthening Option D. Portex injection And the answer is Option A. Serial manipulation and casting Moving to our 83rd question Recurrent shoulder dislocation is best treated by Option A. Physiotherapy Option B. Nicola's optician Option C. Bunkart's operation Option D. Put pallets optician And the answer is Option C. Bunkart's operation Moving to our 84th question The most valuable structure in supracondral fracture of the humerus is the Option A. Median cubital vein Option B. Brachial artery Option C. Median nerve Option D. Ulnar nerve And the answer is Option B. Brachial artery Moving to our 85th question Most commonly fractured bone is Option A. Hamitite Option B. Scaphoid Option C. Lunate Option D. Capitite And the answer is Option B. Scaphoid Moving to our 86th question Idiopathic scoliosis is a Option A. Lateral curvature of the spine Option B. Rotation of the spine Option C. Lateral curvature with rotation of the spine Option D. Flexion deformity of the spine And the answer is Option C. Lateral curvature with rotation of the spine Moving to our 87th question What is the most common pediatric benign bone tumor? Option A. Osteoblastoma Option B. Osteochondroma Option C. Enchondroma Option D. Osteoid Osteoma And the answer is Option B. Osteochondroma Moving to our 88th question Whiplash injury is caused due to 
ऑप्शन ए ए फॉल फ्रॉम ए हाइट ऑप्शन बी अक्यूट हाइपर एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द स्पाइन ऑप्शन सी ए ब्लो ऑन द टॉप टू द हेड ऑप्शन डी अक्यूट हाइपर फ्लेक्शन ऑफ द स्पाइन एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी अक्यूट हाइपर एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द स्पाइन मूविंग टू अवर एटी नाइन क्वेश्चन बकट सिस्ट इज ए साइनोविल सिस्ट सीन एट ऑप्शन बी एंटीरियर एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द नी ऑप्शन बी पॉस्टीरियर एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द नी ऑप्शन सी मीडियल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द एंगल ऑप्शन सी लैटरल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द एंगल एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी पॉस्टीरियर एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द नी मूविंग टू अवर नाइन एथ क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ए सिम्टम ऑफ द टॉन मीडियल कोलेट्रल लिगमेंट ऑफ द नी ऑप्शन ई द लेग कैन बी अपडेक्टेड ऑप्शन बी लेग कैन बी अटेक्टेड ऑप्शन सी एंटीरियर ड्रॉइज ऑप्शन डी पोस्टीरियर ड्रॉइज एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए लेग कैन बी अपडेक्टेड मूविंग टू आवर नाइंटी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच स्ट्रक्चर इज मोस्ट लाइकली टू प्रिवेंट द रिडक्शन ऑफ एंगल डिसलोकेशन आफ्टर ए सुपेनेशन इंजुरी ऑप्शन ए एंडीरियल टैलो फिबिलर लिगमेंट ऑप्शन बी कैलकेनियो फिबिलर लिगमेंट ऑप्शन सी पॉस्टिड टैलो फिबिलर लिगमेंट ऑप्शन डी पेरोनिस प्रिविस टेंट एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी पेरोनिस प्रिविस टेंट एंड मूविंग टू अवर नाइंटी सेकेंड क्वेश्चन द सिंगल डिपेंडेबल साइन ऑफ एयरली वर्कमैन कॉन्ट्रेक्चर इज ऑप्शन ए साइनोसिस ऑफ द फिंगर्स ऑप्शन बी ऑब्लिट्रेशन ऑफ द रेडियल पर्ल्स ऑप्शन सी पैरालिसिस ऑफ द फ्लेक्सर मसल ऑफ द फोरा ऑप्शन डी पेन एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी पेन मूविंग टू अवर नाइंटी थर्ड क्वेश्चन द कॉमनस कॉज ऑफ लो बैक पेन ऑप्शन ए डिस्कर्नेशन ऑप्शन बी फेज डिजीज ऑप्शन सी मसल स्ट्रेन ऑप्शन डी अनोन and the answer is option d unknown moving to our 94th question a milvax brace can be used in option a sacroiliac strain option b dearrangement of the teeth option c a patient with a above knee amputation option d scoliosis and the answer is option d scoliosis moving to our 95th question the name associated with the joint neuropathy is that of option a cushing option b oyster option c moon option d charcot and the answer is option d charcot moving to our 96th question adenocorticosteroid administered in the excess course option a osteoporosis option b osteosclerosis option c osteochondritis option d endochondral ossification and the answer is option a osteoporosis moving to our 97th question hypothyroidism is most commonly associated with which of the following pediatric condition option a leg claps de perth's disease option b slipped capital femoral epiphysis option c toxic synovitis option d achondroplasia and the answer is option b slipped capital femoral epiphysis moving to our 98th question meniscal tear usually results from which of the following circumstances option a hyperextension option b flexion and rotation option c simple hyperflexion option d compression and the answer is option b flexion and rotation moving to our 99th question decutens disease classically affects the option a flexor pollicis longus and brevis option b extensor carpi radialis and extensor pollicis longus option c abductor pollicis longus and brevis option d extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus and the answer is option 
Option D extensor pollicis brevis and obturator pollicis longus. Moving to our 100th question. Medial meniscus of the knee joint is injured more often than the lateral meniscus because of the medial meniscus is relatively. Option A more mobile, option B less mobile, option C thinner, option D attached likely to femur and the answer is option B less mobile. So that's all for today. If you need clarification for any of the questions do comment in the comment box. So this is the end of this series. I'll be back with new series soon. So do subscribe to this channel. Thank you.